Welcome back to Living 808. You guys get excited. He is a true icon. The writer, producer, singer, and actor Sean Cassidy is making his way to Blue Note Hawaii this weekend, and he joins us now live with all the details. Aloha, Sean. Aloha, Kelly. How are you? I'm doing very well and so excited to be talking with you. And of course, so excited to have you in the islands. Now, everyone knows Sean Cassidy. Obviously, your career, it started really early with your recording contract while you're still in high school. So let's talk about that. Your first big break and to where you are now. Uh, that was an amazing time. Uh, this is an amazing time. Uh, I was 18 and... Uh, Got signed to Warner Brothers while still in high school and ended up recording, made a few uh, records overseas. And then I got this part on a show called The Hardy Boys that uh, some of the older folks might remember. And uh, the records in the show kind of blew up at the same time. And I had a very, very, very explosive opening act uh, in my career uh, that I'm very grateful for. And I think even more grateful that I was able to survive that and... Uh, transition uh, into writing and producing television, which has been my main job for the last three decades. Uh, but only recently, in the last uh, couple of years, did I think, you know, I miss this performing thing and I miss, frankly, the audience. And uh, so, yeah, I'll be at the Blue Note on uh, March 10th and 11th, uh, telling stories and singing songs and uh, sharing hit records and uh, come on out. Awesome. Yeah, and it's going to be amazing. Now, you did just mention, you know, how you have been writing for the last few decades now, and that's something that you're doing right now on one of the biggest shows. So tell everyone, I mean, aside from all of the musical things that you're doing now, let's talk yeah. about your writing career as well. Well, uh, I worked on a lot of shows. The first one was a show called American Gothic. That was my first script that I sold, and it was a very scary and uh, impactful show, and it basically set the stage for me to continue doing this. Um, and for the last five years, I worked on a big hit called New Amsterdam, which is a hospital show that uh, ironically, I think, makes you feel good about being in a hospital. <laughs> and we're the, the number one show on Netflix right now. So maybe a lot of folks have seen the show. It's something we're all very proud of. And I talk about that in, in my show. And uh, um, yeah, I'm just I'm a very blessed man, frankly. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so wonderful. Now, exciting, too. I think a lot of people, you know, especially seeing that show, you know, you don't get to know the faces that are behind it necessarily unless you do a deep dive into, you know, the writer's list. So it's really neat that you were on such a big show, too. Now, of course, you've had such huge hits. You're known for your huge mu musical career, but you also spent a great time on television, as you mentioned, The Hardy Boys, and then also... Yeah. Broadway, of course. So how did you transition from, you know, you were such a teen idol and then you were such a successful actor as well. How did that transition happen? Well, you don't really have a choice. I mean, teen <laughs> idol by its nature kind of has a short shelf life. And I'd been the beneficiary of watching my older brother, David, go through a very similar experience, David Cassidy. And mm -hmm. my mother, Shirley Jones, who had a big career in movies and television on The Partridge Family, my father was Jack Cassidy, he was a Tony Award winner. And so, you know, I really benefited from watching all of them and, and seeing how they manage the highs and lows of our business. And when I was working on the Hardy Boys, I loved being in the writer's room. I loved being around writers and creators. And I found that to be my true passion. And I, again, I was fortunate I was able to transition. And now the show I'm doing, which is called The Magic of a Midnight Sky, which is a line from a hit, hit record of mine called Hey Dini. Uh, the show kind of in, in, encapsulates all of that. Uh, people who want to hear the hit songs can come out and hear the hit songs and sing to Do Run Run. And people who want to hear the stories of behind the scenes and a lot of the people I've met over the years will get that as well. The show is funny. It's emotional. Uh, it's something that we're aiming toward Broadway. So if, uh, if anybody comes out to the Blue Note, you may be seeing an early Broadway show. I love that. So exciting. Okay, and for those who do want to head out, what are the details? When is this happening? Of course, yeah. it's at the Blue Note. How do we get tickets? Well, you just call Kelly <laughs> and she'll give them to you. Uh, no, it's uh, March 10th and 11th. I think that's next uh, Friday and Saturday night. Mm -hmm. And it's at the uh, Waikiki Outrigger Resort, I believe, is where uh, the venue is. And uh, 
You tell your staff and I'll get them tickets. I know a guy. <laughs> That's right. You, you right. can head to bluenotehawaii.com where you can get your tickets. We'll also have a link to the direct site to get the Sean Cassidy tickets at kh12.com if you head under the Living 808 tab. Sweet. But it is going to be a wonderful night. You're not going to want to miss it. A couple nights. So make sure you head on out. Again, all the details on our website at kh12.com. But so excited for you to be here in the islands. And I mean, talk about a true creative and artist. I mean, you've had your hand in all of the the different oh. realms and have been so successful at all of them so it's really exciting I mean to see you so successful but also to come out here and entertain Hawaii so we appreciate you coming out and are excited for the show I'm, I'm thrilled to be there the last time I played Hawaii was 1978 whoa Dale arena yep you probably weren't even here yet and uh <laughs> I, I remember we flew over Waikiki and hundreds of kids were in the sand spelling my name it was crazy uh I don't expect that now but uh, if any of those kids uh, want to come to the show, I'll look forward to seeing them again. Oh, my goodness. And I'm sure they will be. Oh, so wonderful. And, and things have changed, but you're going to love Hawaii so much. Thanks so much, Sean, for joining us today. Thanks, Kelly. Mahalo. All right. So much more when Living 808 returns. We're gonna